Hey, what's going on guys? Steven Davidson here. And I uh, thought I'd go ahead and give a update. Uh, next grill infrared plus update. Hold on, let me get a shot of the name here. I've got the uh, Evolution Infrared Plus about four months ago. And let me tell you, this grill is awesome. It's been great and it's been excellent it does an excellent job of cooking and that uh, top gauge here let me see if I can raise it up and get you a closer look all right that's on low with all four burners all five burners going excuse me the side burner that's excellent but you can't use uh, Teflon bottom coated pans So you can't use anything that's got a lot of coating on the bottom of it, just metal only. Because if you don't, if you do, you'll melt it off. We already had to toss out one pan due to the side burner. And you gotta treat it like cast iron. And there's what it looks like seasoned. In fact, that's what I'm about to do. Let me see if I can get some sizzle action for you guys. beautiful day here in southwest Virginia uh, it's about 70 some odd degrees I haven't really checked the weather yet but uh, oh and uh, if you're wondering lard is what I season with any high heat cooking oil will do now in terms of flare-ups you're not going to prevent them all but you get the idea. In fact, you might see one or two of them. But as far as uh, the meat is juicier, takes a little longer to cook, but not much. And it does an excellent job. I could not be happier with this grill. Totally worth the money. Totally worth the money. We've had it for about four months now. I've done cleaned it out two, three times. There we go. Let's see here. Ooh, hot dog. Ooh. Tripped on the camera stand here. My neighbors are out mowing. All right. But uh, once this thing gets black and seasoned like a cast iron pan, it's truly non-stick. And uh, it does not eliminate all the flare-ups, but most. It's just enough to notice here. All right. Got me some lard on there. Whew. That's what I season my grill with. Lard and oil mixture. Preferably more lard than oil. <laughs> but uh, once it quits smoking like that, she's seasoned and ready to go. I've not had any issues uh, with flare ups or anything like that. It does consume propane when you have all burners on. Uh, like, for example, um, it don't take long to burn through a 20 pound cylinder. So if you can upgrade, and get it to fit underneath down here. Let me uh, back the camera up a little bit. I just filled that up not long ago. But uh, yeah. If you can fill that up. and uh, Or get a 40 pounder underneath there. You got gold. Because I'm telling you. This grill is totally worth the money. 
It is. I think I got it for like 300 some odd dollars. Something like that. And uh, it's smoking real good. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, once you clean it, and uh, as far as cleaning goes, it is easier to clean. But when you do clean it, unfortunately, your non-stick goes with it. So you got to treat it like a cast iron skillet, and you got to treat it or do the same thing that you would with a Chinese carbon steel wok. Carbon steel wok, which I do plan on getting here pretty soon but uh, yeah she smokes good she puts out killer food 50% juice here all the flare-ups are not totally gone but with a temperature gauge in the top and you just use one or two or even three burners you can pretty much dial it in to 300 to 450 degrees no problem and uh, whatnot so that's pretty much it in a nutshell so thank you for watching don't forget to share like subscribe take care and god bless